what's the problem we're trying to solve here? What's the problem that's put $4.35 billion uh, on the table? Well, it, it can be expressed uh, in everything from uh, the disappointment of an individual student who finds at the end of a high school career and a diploma and a pretty good transcript that he can't succeed in college. It's expressed in the disappointment of someone who doesn't graduate from high school and finds herself or himself consigned to low-wage jobs throughout a lifetime. It can be expressed in those very personal terms that those of us who have the privilege of working in schools see. Each of those disappointments, though, is an opportunity lost because the education system is about dreams and making them real. In the aggregate, though, what does this look like? Pretty terrifying. 70% of eighth graders are not proficient in reading across the country. And if you're not proficient in reading in eighth grade, you're not going to catch up. What does that mean for the character of civil discourse and dialogue in a democracy? Every year, more than 1.2 million students drop out of high school. And those are the students we know drop out of high school. Only about half of the nation's African American and Latino student students graduate on time from high school. By age 17, the average African American student, the average African American student, 50th percentile, is performing at the 20th percentile of white students, independent of socioeconomic status. Across the country, nearly 40% of high school graduates who go into the nation's public colleges and universities need some kind of remediation in their freshman and sophomore year. Here in Georgia, as this excellent op-ed in the Atlanta Business Chronicle by uh, Penny McPhee points out, personal income in Georgia uh, is number 20 in, in the US, largely because of a depressed education system. And even more telling, of every dollar spent in public relief in the state of Georgia, 64 cents of that dollar goes to support uh, individuals with a high school diploma or less. This is, as a recent study by McKinsey and Company has pointed out, the equivalent of imposing a permanent recession on the United States. It's inequitable, it's unfair, and it is dragging us down.